So on the radio, let's say that the, the, you're listening to the radio and the channel is a little fuzzy. Yeah? What happens when you turn the volume up? It's fuzzy here, right? So turning the volume up is like trying harder. It's like trying to figure it out. It's like getting after it. But you're just increasing the noise, the tension, the shh. So if that knob's not working, we need to come in tune with this knob and tune the frequency to get on the right channel, the center channel, where it's clear. Now I don't need to turn the volume up. I could if I wanted, but I don't need to. Now I can hear, see, and feel clearly what's necessary. The closer I get to that center channel, the more clearly I can feel and I can perceive what is necessary. The more fuzzy that channel is, if I just turn the volume up, that's what we do most of the time, just turn the volume up. And when I turn that volume up, then, uh, you know, I'm, I'm reacting, I'm not hearing, I'm not feeling what's happening, and maybe the information is not correct. And to that, the breathing that I'm talking about, this is the first thing that I teach all military special forces that I work with. I've had the distinct honor around now of working with over 200 different agencies. I'm actually on my way to India to work with the Indian military on Tuesday. But it's not the tactics. Okay, I do teach people how to kick ass. I love doing that shit, okay, let's be honest. Hey, I love it, right? Martial arts, I love it. I love punching, kicking people, kung fuing them, choking them. It's, it's, it's my jam, right? But that's not what got me the contracts. It was actually this stuff. Because here's the other mission that I'm on now. How do I bring the soldiers back? Because they don't have a method to come back. The stuff that they see, the stuff the police officers see, first responders see, the things that they see, if there's not a method to process it on the moment, where's it going? Going inside. And then what's gonna happen? You have to cope with it. So that creates coping mechanisms, whatever those are. Alcohol, drugs, those things, but other things. Working out too much is a coping mechanism. And avoiding it. We all have traumas. Some we don't want to think about, some we don't want to feel.